welcome to Eyes on the Game. Um, I'm very excited because it's been a very busy fight week, obviously, with all the news that's breaking right now and the week of UFC 200. But um, not only is this week exciting, this whole month is because on July 30th, um, Heather Handguns Bassett will be fighting at Nico Montano um, in Wisconsin for the vacant women's 125-pound uh, junior flyweight title match. And, and it's also part of King of the Cage, so I'm very excited to have Heather join me in studio. Thanks so much for literally flying down here. Yeah, thanks for having me in. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, well, welcome on the show. And, and first off, I mean, how good does it feel, you know, to be fighting for the title in your hometown of Wisconsin? It feels awesome. I feel like, um, you know, I've really put in the work and I've really earned this title shot. And to be able to fight for it in my hometown, where I, ch I haven't fought in for almost six years now, it's pretty exciting. I'm, I'm definitely psyched for it. And what about fighting for the title? What does this title mean to you? This title is, I mean, I feel like it's something that I've worked up for. Um, I've been fighting for King of the Cage since I first started fighting, mm -hmm. and I feel like it's perfect timing. You know, it's yeah. perfect timing for the 125 to open up, and I feel good and ready, and I'm ready for that belt. Now, Heather, I, I do know that you beat Shannon Cox in February. Um, by stoppage, but I kind of want to get a bit more um, and and know more about your background a bit. I do know that you in high school um, you were a runner and a cross country skier, and you didn't really think that you would get into MMA. So can you tell you know the fans and the audience a bit more about how you got into it? Yeah, it's definitely not something I saw myself doing. Um, I came out of high school with six state titles in cross-country skiing. I uh, went on to ski and run cross-country in college. Uh, about you know my freshman or sophomore year, I started having problems with my legs. I had to have a couple different surgeries. And at that point, I kind of discovered fighting. And I started grappling and kind of used that as an escape from my running. <laughs> yeah, so was your family supportive knowing that Hey, it's like, you know, your daughter um, wants to become a mixed martial artist. My family is amazing. Um, they definitely supported me, but I think it was, it was definitely hard uh, yeah. from watching me, you know, run on the track to watching me get punched in the face. So it was yeah. definitely it took some time for them to get used to it. Do you remember your first fight? I remember parts of it. <laughs> I think, you know, that first fight was just so fast and... Yeah. Um, that's actually how I got my name, Handguns, is just I threw so many punches so quick that oh, you know, wow. everything is so blurry from that first fight. But Yeah, and um, so who was your idol kind of growing up or at least in the fight game? Well, when I first started fighting, it was, you know, the real pioneers of the sport, like Tanya mm -hmm. Avenger, Rosie Sexton. Yeah. Uh, now, I mean, there's just so many women out there to look up to. It's incredible. Yeah, and speaking of, you know, those women, um, I happened to notice that one of them that you fought um, in the amateurs, Rose Nama Yunus, the UFC fighter. Um, so now I kind of want to transition into how big women's MMA has gotten, obviously, you know, from uh, with Ronda Rousey and then the Holly Holm, Misha Tate, everything that's going on now. Um, what's your take on everything that's happening in women's MMA? Um, like you said, there's just so much going on, and Rose is a perfect example, you know, we're both from Wisconsin, we fought together as amateurs, and I mean, look at where she is now, look at all the opportunities that have opened up for women in the UFC and other organizations. Yeah, do, do you and Rose still talk, or? Uh, once in a while, yeah. Um, yeah, I was able to go train with her when she was in Minnesota a couple of years ago, uh, but yeah, we keep in touch here and there. Mm -hmm. So, Heather, if you know, you win the title on July 30th. Um, what What's next for you? Have you kind of, you know, thought about some goals afterwards? Well, when I win the title on July 30th, um, yeah. I need to keep the belt. I think that I will, yeah. you know, I will want to defend it and, you know, really leave that stamp on the 125 division and King of the Cage, but I'm also hoping that it opens up other opportunities, so we'll, we'll see like where it takes Like maybe a soon. UFC? <laughs> You as soon as they got, you? as soon as they got a flyweight division, that's that's the next step. Yeah. Would, would you ever be open to either moving down to strawweight or up to bantamweight? I have fought at bantamweight a couple mm -hmm. times, and 
I know that I could do it, you know, with the proper training and, you know, getting yeah. bulked up, but I feel like 125 is really my, my division. That's where yeah. I feel comfortable, and I feel like that's where I will have the most success. And Heather, so you have had, obviously, a lot of success so far. Um, I just, I want to know, like, what what's something that keeps you motivated to keep going and fighting at such an elite level? I think that, you know, once I have these goals set, that's all I think about. And I think the moment that I started fighting, I had made that decision to see how far I can take it. And I think yeah. that keeps me motivated still to see how much more I can improve and how much further I can take it. Because with this sport, there's no standing still. You know, yeah. you're, you're either improving or you're falling behind. So I think that's kind of what keeps me motivated. And what about kind of like when you're not fighting, um, what do you like to do for fun? What does Heather Handguns Vesta <laughs> like to do for fun? Um, I'm really outdoorsy. I love being outside, hiking, kayaking. Um, I have two dogs that keep me busy. Oh, what but kind? I have a basset hound and I have a shih tzu mix. And they're How a cute. handful. <laughs> so I'm sure it's kind of like, you know, you go to the gym, train, and work out, and then spending time with your dogs, I'm sure it's another, like, workout session. Oh, yeah, they're, they're pretty high maintenance. <laughs> yeah, and Heather, so obviously, you know, like I mentioned, um, in the beginning of the show that it is fight week. It's a very busy week. Um, who's your, you know, favorite fighter to watch right now? Or favorites? Because I, I know there's a lot of them. <laughs> you know, it's just so hard to pick right now with the women's division. I think that that's what I like to watch the most, and I think the uh, Ioana and Claudia fight is going to be amazing. Yeah, who and do you think will win that one? I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, their first fight was so close, you know? It. I am hoping for another fight like that. I think that it will be yeah. an all-out all battle again. So. And what about um, the bantamweight title fight between Misha Tate and Amanda Nunez? Yeah, I think that one could be very interesting. I, I still feel like Tate is going to come out on top, but I think mm -hmm. we're I think we're going to see a war in that one as well. Yeah, and... Um, speaking of wars, uh, obviously, once again, July 30th, you know, you'll be fighting for the vacant flyweight um, title of King of the Cage, and you'll be fighting Nico. Um, now, looking at her, um, what do you think her strengths and weaknesses are? Well, I know that she is a good grappler, and she mm -hmm. comes out of a very well-rounded and strong gym, so I think that I will be needing to be prepared for everything. Um, I think that's my focus right now is just going in there knowing that I'm going to be comfortable wherever it ends yeah. up. And for the fans and the audience, um, where can they follow you on social media? Um, I'm on Facebook at Heather Bassett and also on Twitter at, at Heather Bassett. I'm also on Instagram. So. And can they still buy tickets to the fight? Yep, tickets are available online. Um, I have the link posted on all my social media, so. Mm -hmm. And um, do you have any sponsors you'd like to give a shout out to? Yeah, I'd like to thank Fighter Alias. Um, shout yeah. out to Fighter <laughs> Alias. Yeah, he's been really, he's been really huge in my fight career so far, yeah. and as well as now that I'm out here in Vegas, he's been a huge help. So. Great. Well, um, for everybody watching and tuning in, make sure you guys uh, check out Heather Handguns Bassett as she a fight for the vacant flyweight title of King of the Cage July 30th in her hometown of Wisconsin. Um, and like she just mentioned, you guys can still purchase tickets and make sure you follow her on social media. Uh, when we get back, there's more sports news, so stay tuned to Eyes on the Game. And thank you so much for your time. Yes, thank you.